What's up guys? Watch this video before Christmas shopping to save you money. Let's go. When you're thinking about Christmas shopping, most people tend to spend a lot of money and in regards to that, some people may spend money on gifts, money on Christmas tree shopping, money on that, money on food, Christmas parties, or anything else like that, getting ready for New Year's, and it's a plenty of different things that you can spend money on, but in regards to specifically Christmas shopping, this is what you want to go ahead and do. Starting with tip number one is you want to go ahead and set a budget, but actually stick to it because you can set a budget and then completely go bonkers beyond it because it's it's so easy around Christmas shopping time because you can see something that wasn't originally within your budget or within something that you were planning on getting and you see it and it's like hmm yeah let me go ahead and get that so sticking to your budget and not going above it is going to allow you to not overspend and not have to worry about can I pay my bills after that can I do this can I do that because most people during Christmas time studies have shown tend to overspend even beyond their means and then it leaves them in a sticky situation afterwards Having a budget and sticking to it is going to allow you to be a lot more reasonable with yourself and at the same time it's going to allow you to really enjoy that Christmas time because you're buying Christmas presents or anything else like that but simultaneously you're sticking to your budget and tip number two is going to be cash back and rewards program so if you tend to go shopping at some specific stores more than others so for me i absolutely love going to shop at abercrombie and fitch lululemon express some stores like that so i will always ask the cashier hey do you have any rewards programs that i can sign up to or loyalty points that i can in the future when i come and purchase more and more and more and for example abercrombie and fitch they have that so using that to your advantage is it's essentially like getting a little present or little gift every single time that you purchase something so whether it's a shirt whether they're jeans whether they're anything else like that over time you're going to spend the money anyway so why not get a little bit extra for the same thing that you're getting so when you combine that with and again what I'm about to say use with caution because a lot of people can do this step wrong when you combine that with using your credit card to maximize points or maximize cashback rewards, you're going to really set yourself up for a good future. So let, let's be honest, you're already going to go Christmas shopping. So when you combine the cashback from your credit cards, but of course pay it back at the end of the billing cycle. And when you combine that with the loyalty and rewards programs, you're going to get a lot more back for the same amount of things that you are going to buy anyways, if you're just using cash or, or just your debit card. Does that make sense? So use that to your advantage to rack up points on your credit cards for future travel, hotels, food, or anything else, discounts, or just simply getting some cash back. So use that to your advantage and live it up. Tip number three is going to be you want to go ahead and read the reviews of whatever you're thinking about buying beforehand. So whether you're going to the mall or shopping there or whether you're just buying something online, do a little bit of research, take some time and read the reviews of everybody that has already purchased whatever you're thinking about buying. So my general rule of thumb is I like seeing the recent reviews and then I'll typically go ahead and go to the three star ratings. They typically have one, two, three, four and five star reviews. I typically like to go ahead and see some of the one stars some of the five stars but i'll typically go ahead and focus on the three stars because those tend to be the most unbiased opinions and they'll typically say the good stuff and also the bad stuff so that's why it's a three stars because it's right in the middle so read the reviews of what you're thinking about buying so that you're not disappointed when you actually get the item or when you gift a person whatever you're thinking about getting and tip number four is going to be you want to go ahead and make sure that you're getting the best price through the holiday sales because around this time there's going to be a lot of discounts we just passed black friday a couple weeks ago so generally during this whole period of time there's a lot of holiday sales a lot of things go on discounts so before just splurging or before just impulse buying do a little bit of research make sure that you're getting the best possible price for the item that you're getting so for example let's just use shoes for example there's a lot of different stores and a lot of different brands there's Foot Locker, there's nike there's finish line just to name a few and if you see a pair of shoes that 
that you want or you're thinking about getting for somebody else and you see that one website has it for let's say $100 and that website has it for $80 do a little bit of research before just seeing the very first thing because some websites may be selling the exact same thing but if you're seeing on a different website you might see a discount on that exact same item and I tend to see that a lot and for the exact same thing so do a little bit of research you might be able to save a little bit of more money for the exact same item and those are the top tips that I recommend to do before Christmas shopping so if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up and if you want me to make more videos like this or anything else like that go ahead and comment down in the comment section down below and remember new videos every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time and YouTube shorts almost on the daily so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ariel Soros signing out. Thank you.